There are four impact labs that our students need to take over the course of their degree. Uh, the first one focuses on place, the second one on people, the third one on planet and the fourth one on purpose. So each semester in Impact Lab 4 we offer the students between 7 and 13 different project options for them to take. For example, uh, this semester we have a project called the SHED project and that's short for Sustainability in Higher Education. The students were asked to design a space here at QUT at the Gardens Point campus that could also be um, moved to the Kelvin Grove campus. More particularly, it really made this much more of a kind of real world experience because perhaps for the first time for many of them they really had to consider sustainability from a design and construction point of view and design something that would take that into account. Primarily for my design the sustainability elements come from the reuse of materials. In my case it's wooden pallets. In the world right now there are around 5 billion pallets in use and 150 million of them are thrown away each year just in dumps across the world. So why not reuse them? Why not use that innate storytelling ability and incorporate it in my design? Well, there was a few uh, sustainable design elements I incorporated into my design. I've achieved this with my structure by using a pin system so that each of the individual elements can be easily assembled and disassembled. And my reasoning for doing this is was to reduce the amount of materials that are wasted during that process. From a teaching perspective, this project was really relevant relevant in the sense that, certainly from the students' point of view, there were so many clients, they had multiple clients, because there were so many people here within QUT interested in this, interested in the indigenous aspect, the indigenous cultural aspect, the campus to country, and then there was the facilities management on another level entirely, about the practicality of construction, the materials. There was kind of multiple clients, all adds aspects that the students often wouldn't have to take into account, all in one small project. Sustainability isn't just about picking the right material type for a building that is sustainable, it's also about thinking about the whole life cycle of a building. My design hinges off the idea of recycling and repurposing pre-loved building elements from the local area. Now our students were really inspired, they didn't know that the Campus to Country um, vision existed, so it was an excellent project where they got to explore what that is um, and incorporate that into their design. My understanding of Indigenous culture through the Campus to Country theme has definitely changed. Being able to research and look into the um, QUT framework that has been set out um, and doing that research on Indigenous colours and planting, I was able to get a greater understanding and appreciation for it. Within my uh, structure, I try to take a very sensitive approach to Campus to Country. Um, so I did a lot of research into Indigenous colour palettes um, and found that earthy tones such as reds and browns represented land, which I felt was a very good connection to the campus of the country theme. Hence the use of cord and steel within the structure. Also the indigenous planting that I've used, which is native to the Brisbane area. The way I incorporated that campus to country connection is actually through the use of a vertical garden. So in that vertical garden, I've actually used uh, native plants and vegetation that are showcased on the front facade of my structure that I've designed. And I thought that was like a really great way of incorporating that uh, country connection and also connection to land. I think both sustainability and connection to country are definitely areas I'll continue to develop in my, hopefully, my future career as an architect. Uh, they are both areas I didn't really have much knowledge in before studying architecture at QUT. I'm really hoping to dive deeper into those areas and incorporate it into my future designs.